Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a new moon reading. Uh, this time around, we're looking at the Virgo lunar cycle, so we are looking at the month of September, and we are going to be doing the typical four-card spread. Energy coming in for you that you're supposed to be tapping into any challenges or obstacles you might be facing during the month of September. And because we are talking about Virgo influence, looking at where you need to do some work in the physical, and then as always, a quick little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread. Please keep in mind that this is a, a general reading, so if you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below. With that being said, this video is for the Leos, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. So uh, let's go on and get started. First card that I have popping up for you in the spread, Leo, is in the position of the energy coming in for you or the energy that you're supposed to be tapping into during the month of September. And you've got yang this is the first card in this deck right um and yang as you know is masculine energy it's this energy of action it's this energy with a whole bunch of will and devotion behind it so leo i feel like <clears throat> excuse me although we are in virgo season i still feel like you're still riding hot on the tail end of, of your energy we just came out of your season so i still i feel like you're still resonating very much so with the fire that is you and that's if that ain't leo i don't know what it is we in virgo season and leo's is like yeah are we i thought it was still leo season <laughs> because and so that's very much so how you guys are feeling during this month of september um all of these passions that were reignited over the past month all of these ideas that you've come up with all of these things that you've decided that you wanted to do you are now coming off of your energy and moving into the Virgo energy, really feeling this urge to actually make them happen. And so if you haven't started doing things in the physical, Leo, go on and start making shit happen. You know, if you had an idea and you're still feeling very strongly about it, go on and just and just see the idea through during the month of September. I think you'll find that it'll be very beneficial for you, okay? Um, that's all I want to say about that. I just feel like... Uh, for you, it's kind of like extended Leo season with a little bit of assistance from Virgo <laughs> for the month of September, like a little bit of assistance in the physical with the earth element, earth aspect from, from Virgo. <laughs> um, the next card that I want to talk about is coming up in the position of your crossing energies during the month of September. And you've got a Rada card here, which is an air card. And this is Ogun Farai, not Farai, Farai. And, um... This is the five of air. Y'all know I don't like five cards. It's all one of my all shit cards. And the only thing, like the main thing that I get with this, especially with all this intensity, this urge, this movement, is Leo, you got a lot of ideas. And Leo, y'all are fire. So when you have all them ideas to you, it's not like I'm going to sit down and plan out what I'm doing. No, it's like I'm just going to do it all because I can and I'm capable. But you got this card in the crossing position. So I think an important message for you <clears throat> is to just be very mindful not to be impulsive and to not um, exert your energy into so many things that you burn yourself out during this next month. You know, Leo, your ideas are always great and you always accomplish your goals. But during this time, I think it's important for you to remember, especially because you're now in your new year. So you really, you've really, in your head, you're really like, okay, I'm going to do this. 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 Understand that you can do all of that. You do have the energy, but you got to, you got to pace yourself. You got to do things one thing at a time, because remember being impulsive and sending your energy into a whole bunch of different directions makes it so that when you really need a certain reserve of energy for one thing, you don't have it. So just be very mindful. All of your ideas can be played out, but just, you know, think about the timing. Think about, do I have to do all of these things right now or can I do this? This one thing right now, save this for, you know, a few weeks down the line. Um, and I think you'll find if you start to strategize, again, we are underneath the Virgo, 
a Virgo energy and Virgo is very strategic. If you start to strategize on all of your ideas and all of your goals um, and you st and you put in the energy to do these things in the way that you strategize, you'll find them play out for you in a very favorable manner, okay? Whew. Winded. Because <laughs> it's hot. All right, y'all. The next card that I have coming up in your spread is in the position of the Virgo energy. And this is where you need to get down to the nitty gritty, do some work in the physical in order to prepare for the change that is coming up with the fall season. And you've got Oshun here. This is a card of practicality in this deck. It's a Santeria card. It's an earth card. So you've got, you're doubling up on the earth energy here. This is in the Virgo position, but then we pull an earth card. So you've got Oshun. This is saying... I was about to call y'all Libras, and I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> um, you've got this Yang energy coming up here, Leo, during this month. You've got the drive. You've got the will. You've got the motivation. But you've got Ogun Farai in the crossing position. You've got uh, Oshun in the position of what you need to do in the physical. This is this is just another reminder. This is further confirming what I was saying, Libra. Uh, whoop sorry I did it anyway Leo <laughs> you need to be very practical minded about the way that you move about and the way that you do things you have a lot of great ideas sorry you've got a lot of great ideas this is somebody who puts in a lot of work because they have thought things through and they've done the things that needed to be done in order to see the success that they've seen um so with this card popping up here this is saying Leo you know, you've got what you need to make it happen, but it's not going to happen. And you're not going to be looking like Oshun here if you do everything all at once and you just, you know, go balls in and don't think about the way that you're doing things. So just be very, very, very mindful of your steps. Again, tap into that strategic Virgo energy for this lunar cycle and couple that, pair that with this Yang energy and make your moves, you know in a possible manner i i feel like this card coming up here saying leo you're trying to do some impossible shit but you gotta you know you gotta be realistic about the way that you do things and like i said everything that you want to happen will happen you just gotta make moves about it in a practical way okay and then further confirming what i'm telling you in your soul message position you've got the bear card and this is the card of rest <clears throat> so literally chill out leo like you know one thing at a time don't get so excited you've got like i said i keep feeling i keep saying you've got a lot of ideas because i feel like for a lot of you there are so many things that you want to do i feel like you guys have just been you know reignited and you're like i'm doing this i remember i said i was gonna do this i'm gonna bring this back around now i've got an idea about this and because if i do this that means i can get this 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 and this and it just it, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes which is cool. Be very positive. Be very imaginative. You know, I'm all about, you know, manifesting things, but <laughs> you got to take a break. The same way I'm telling y'all I'm winded doing this reading, which is funny when I do y'all's readings, I feel your energy come through. Fire energy is always very overwhelming for me. So I get winded a lot doing the fire sign readings <laughs> with fun facts. Um, this bear card coming up here is saying, Leo, you got to, you got to take a minute. Yeah, take a minute. You got to think about things. You know, you got the juice. You got the sauce. You can make the moves that you need to make, but you have got to calm down. You have got to slow down because tapping all the way into that fire. Remember what I said? This is just extended Leo season with assistance from Virgo. You be realistic. Understand that we are really in Virgo season, okay, Leo? You harness the energy that you picked up on during leo season but you know come into virgo energy don't be so impulsive don't be all over the place don't exert your energy everywhere leo because it's not going to be beneficial to you take breaks when you need them if you start to feel overwhelmed leo you can put everything on pause and pick it back up when you are mentally capable when you found your zen when you are physically capable you know take a break take a rest slow down a little bit we're in an earth season you ain't got to make a whole bunch of fast and quick moves. You got the energy, you got the juice, you got the sauce, you're fire anyway, so you'll be fine when it's time for you to make moves, okay? Be very mindful about them. All right, Leo, that's your spread. Hope that it resonated with you. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Um, I've also got my Etsy shop link down below. I am having an end of summer sale. Got to get rid of all my summer inventory. So if you want your own reading, feel free to book one with me. Everything's on sale. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.